I posted a video about the painful process of painting these upper cabinets. A lot of you people watched it, a lot of you liked it, and a few people commented on the handles and asked what did you do with the handles. Of course I did a DIY job and of course I screwed it up, like royally. So I thought why not make a video of this because there's lessons to be learned that I can pass on to you. So first off, when I painted these cabinets, I put about zero thought into what I would do with the handles. And that's kind of disappointing because if I could turn back time, I probably would have filled the holes. I would have filled both holes and sanded them down and then painted the cabinets. Maybe I would have gone with no handles at all, which I wouldn't mind, but it might be a little too minimal. Um, if anything, I probably would have filled the top hole and I would have ended up just using like a knob style handle on the bottom of the thing. I don't necessarily like these long handles. I guess that's just a personal preference. But I squandered that opportunity, so we're gonna reuse the old ones. Now these are just nickel or pewter or silver or whatever you call it. I call them silver. It's just builder grade shit that they all use. And I would have been fine just putting these silver ones back on. I think they looked really good. My wife is watching me film this, so I can't talk shit. But I decided that it would be really important to change the color of the handles. I had two options, buy new or paint the old ones. Now the new handles are probably, I don't know what they are, but they're probably 15, 20 bucks a pop. You know, and my wife is like, don't be so cheap, it's only 20 bucks. But, guess how many handles are in this kitchen? Wrong. There's 47 handles in here. So do the math on that, 47 by 20 bucks equals three burner Weber natural gas barbecue, right? So the decision was made to DIY. Took the handles, sanded them all, wiped them down with TSP, took them out to the garage, and this is where my second mistake comes into play. I used a Rust-Oleum metallic paint and primer, any surface, any angle, baby. And you can see here what happened on this any surface product right here. The paint just basically disintegrated, a complete and total fail. And it, mostly around the range hood here, is where the paint just, it got gummy, it chewed up, and when you touch it, it was tacky. So, complete failure. So my wife says to me, hey, I found this product on Instagram. It's called Rub and Buff. <laughs> Rub and Buff, I can't even say it with a straight face, because uh, it's so funny. <laughs> oh, before I forget, on my last video, I asked you guys, I said, the only thing I ask for you to do is subscribe, and a whole bunch of you went and subscribed. So I truly appreciate that. And as a sign of my appreciation, a little gift from me to you. Here's a piece of footage of my wife locking eyes on my brand new fish sandals for the first time. <laughs> Where did you get those? <laughs> if you get any information or a good kick out of these videos, that's all I ask for you to do. It doesn't cost you a thing. Just subscribe. So. Back to the rub and tug. It actually works and it works really well. Here's a side-by-side -side photo. We have the Rust-Oleum metallic paint on one side and we have the rub and buff on the other side. And this rub and buff is antique gold. I love the tone of it, I love the look of it and it actually goes on really well. So. Joey here is going to give us a little demo on exactly how she's doing her rubbing and buffing. Just rub it on and it goes on so smooth and you need just like a tiny little amount and the color is way better than the brassy gold of the spray paint. So there you have it, the rub and buff, it looks good. It came into my house, stole my heart because it works awesome. Little side note here, I haven't painted the lower cabinets yet on this uh, little kitchen remodel here. A lot of you people commented about using a sprayer. 
So I'm gonna go down to the Homey Depot and rent a sprayer and I'm gonna paint these lower cabinets black and I'm gonna make a video comparing the difference, pros and cons between doing the uppers white with a brush and a roller and spraying the black on the bottom. I'm sure it's gonna make a hell of a mess, but we'll do it anyway. <laughs>